We get some questions asking us why we have a family motto, how we create, oh, hey, Charlie dog. Charlie, sit, sit, sit. Good girl. You wanna say hi? Okay, come here, come on. Hi, say hi, Charlie, say hi. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Hey everybody, this is Chad with Love Always Adventure Often. Thanks for watching. Over the past few years, we have gotten some questions about our family motto. Uh, we use it a lot in our social media and, and we use it a lot in our family and people have taken notice and they've asked us things like, why do you have a family motto? The most common one that we get is probably, how did you come up with your family motto? Um, and, uh, and that's my favorite one to answer. So I'm actually gonna do this through video today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the process that we went through to come up with our family motto. Hopefully it will help you guys come up with your family motto if you want one. The reason we came up with a family motto is because we wanted something to hold each other accountable. What do I mean by that is I mean we needed a standard. We needed something or felt like we wanted something that would hold us accountable to the things that we held most important. So let's go through. I've got some notes here. So I'm, excuse me, I'm going to look down and kind of keep track of where I'm at. But I wanted to make sure I included everything and that I went through the process exactly how we did it. So the first thing is set aside time for this as a family. Make sure everybody is included, make sure everybody's available, and get rid of distractions. Yeah, take these and throw them out, um, whatever. Uh, don't, make sure that everybody is into the process and wants to help, and I understand if you've got teenagers, this is a little more difficult. Hopefully they'll, they'll spare you know a couple minutes at a time to help you develop this family motto. So that's, that's principle number one, find and set apart time. The, now, another note with this principle or this, this step is don't feel like this has to be all done in one sitting. Step two, when you sit down, make sure you have something to write on. Make sure you have a notebook, everybody has paper, maybe you even have a whiteboard, a chalkboard, or something to write down with because you're gonna wanna show everybody in the family that their, their opinions, their suggestions, they count and they matter. And you're also gonna wanna keep track of all of the things that come up in these discussions, right? Um, so set apart the time, sit down, make sure you have something to write with. Step number three is come up with a list of values that each a person in your family hold, right? So this, this is a collective think. So you put it out to them and you say, hey, what do we value as a family? I keep looking around the table like I'm sitting down with a family or something. I should be looking at you. What do we value as a family? Everybody throws out suggestions. Just, this is a brainstorm, right? No, there is no wrong answer. That's another big point to bring out in all of these steps. There is no right or wrong. I'm not presenting to you the right way to create a family motto. I'm just presenting to you a way or the way that we did it. So when we did this, we had a huge list. I think we started with like 40 different values that we came up with with our kids. So some of those were fun, we were uh, brave, calm, charming, honest, excited, curious, fierce, determined, um, and, and, and the list goes on and on. I won't share, share all of them, but you can see we started to create this list of values and things that we thought were really important and that we would never go back on or that we think our family as a whole would never go back on. Um, okay, so next step, you're gonna have a voting process. So hopefully all this is done in one sitting. You come up with these adjectives or these values or whatever you wanna call them and then you start to vote on them one by one. Okay, what do we think about this one? Is it important? Should we leave it in? And you're gonna to start to take this list and narrow it down. I want you to narrow this, at least in this sitting, this first initial sitting, I want you to narrow this list down to at least 10, if not lower. Next step, 
You're going to ask a series of questions to everybody in the family and everybody gets a voice. I can't stress this enough. Everybody gets a voice and I'm going to explain to you why that's so important here towards the end. So please stick with me. Ask a series of questions that gets people thinking about what the family stands for, what they value. I'm going to, in the comments below uh, or in the description below, I'm going to put a list of questions that you can ask. Copy them, use them, I don't care. I didn't make them up actually. When we went through this process, I found a ton of resources on this and I borrowed so much of what they had in there. So I'll put that, that list of questions in the description. These questions are just to get you guys thinking about what this motto might look like. Some people call it a mission statement. Um, some people call it a declaration. I don't care what you call it. it it's all the same thing. Um, but asking these questions and thinking about those answers will start to get your minds into, into a state where you can think of statements that use the values that you came up with. Okay, great. Following along, awesome. Great, let's move on. Now you have your values, your adjectives, your descriptive words, whatever those are, and you have all of the answers to the questions swimming around your head. Here's where I want you to break. I want you to stop meeting as a family at this point and go off and think about things on your own, individually. So when we came back, we came back, everybody came back with their own individual ideas. I think I had a few, I think Katie had a few, and the, get, the kids had one or two. And they were kind of young uh, at the time, and so it wasn't, they, I mean, we didn't expect a lot <laughs> of input from them, um, but here's where, here's where it's so awesome. And here's why I think I say everybody should be involved and everybody should be everybody's opinions, ideas, and answers should be valued. Because when we came back to the table and we threw out our ideas and we put them on paper, it was actually Addison. And as soon as we put them all down and we saw hers, it was a done deal. Love always adventure often because we knew those were our values. We knew we always wanted to show love, no matter what the circumstance, and we knew we wanted to adventure as often as we possibly could. It was perfect fit, and that's why I say, I mean, she's, she was, a, I can't remember exactly now, I wish I could, seven or eight years old, came up with our family motto. That was a huge um, confidence boost for her. She felt like she was adding so much to our family, and we now use it. Okay, so final step. Here's the final step, and you cannot forget this step, um, is once you come up with the motto, mission statement, uh, declaration, whatever you're going to call it, once you come up with that, use it. Now, how do you use it? Um, use it and abuse it. So I say, we say it around our house all the time, right? So if we're sitting around, we're kind of being lazy, and the kids keep us accountable as well, right? If Katie and I are kind of sitting around, we're being lazy, we haven't gone on an adventure for a while, the kids will remind us, Dad, love always, adventure often. And we haven't been adventuring very often. Or if I've planned uh, an outing with the family to go do some charity work or service or something like that, and they gripe and complain and blah, 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 as we're trying to get out the door, I can remind them, guys, love always, adventure often. And I know it sounds so cheesy probably to you right now, but it's, it clicks for us. Because this motto means so much to us and because it's built into the threads of our family, um, when anybody says it, it really makes us stop and think wow, yeah, we, we decided to live up to that. We need to take action or we get to take action, right? And so um, that's, that's one really big step is to use it. So here's a couple of hints um, or a couple of helpful tips in, in developing this. So one, keep it short. Don't make a long thing that people can't remember. If, listen, if you can't easily remember it, you can't easily use it. Make sure that everybody agrees on it. 
Make sure you have buy-in, what I call buy-in on this, from every member of the family. Make sure that they own it, that they love it, that they're excited about it. Um, and there's no rush. Like I mentioned before, this can be done over many settings. You can refine it. And then I've already said it is um, there is no right or wrong. Don't get caught up in, hey, we're not doing this the right way. Finally, my, my biggest tip, have fun with it. Have fun with it because if you have fun with it, the kids, the rest of the family, even you will love the motto and you'll want to live by it even more because it was such a fun experience coming together as a family and uniting to decide on what is valuable to us. What do we love? What do we value? How do we want to live? And that's ultimately it. So use it, use it, use it, use it in your language and it will become part of you and it will motivate you and it will be the driving force behind so many of the decisions that you guys are making. That's what it is for us right now. You know, we're making some huge decisions and some huge changes in our family um, about where we live, how we live, uh, what we own, all of that kind of stuff because solely because of our motto and how much we believe in it. So anyway, until, uh, until next time, love always, adventure often, and have a fun time creating your family motto.